Okay, this is the first gun. Can't tell from here what he's shooting, but I think it's the Creed. Okay, marked it in the first. Okay. Moving the comb back. Ow! He did that on purpose, everybody. Okay, you can see right here where I was standing from the original location over there. You can see there's evil all around here, even the one that hit me in the head. So let me back up some more to let him go ahead and try to shoot me again. Okay, I've got to move it back again, because each time Mike uses me as a gauge, he ends up shooting the balls even farther. As you can see in the road, you can see some random evil balls. And let's see if you can finally get him. You should be seeing him pop raining in, right in that range. I think we got it. Okay, you can see where the balls all come afterwards after they've bounced. But I basically marked initially the, the initial hit point of them. So I guess we'll, I'll move back and get another cone. So now you guys see, man, took one to the top of the head. I don't think it broke though. Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad what I got to deal with. Get this next cone. Well, it's a hot one today. Most definitely, it is a hot one. So, all right. This is going to be shooting a different gun now, folks. I believe he's going to come out with the SP1 with an Apex um, for our next test. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to guess another 50 feet, basically for a good starting point. Um, let's see what he does now. Because as you saw in the first test, it took me, hit me three different ranges, so I had to move it back a couple times. So we'll see if I, if I estimate better this time. Alright, let me turn this around and get what really matters. You can see Mike way down there. That's where he's shooting them from. And you can see the first cone. And I'm standing directly in front of the next station. Probably, I'm estimating about 50 feet from, from that first cone. Maybe a little farther. But I figure it's going to be a good judgment meter. So while he sets this all up for the next gun, we'll see how long this takes. You can see him down there working. Let's zoom in and take a peek at what Mike's doing. Let's take a look, folks. Okay, so we're gonna have a flat line and an and an apex. Yeah. All right. Well, the test has changed again. We're going to start off with three parameters. Now we're going with four. I think Mike just likes the fact that he's going to get another gun that he can shoot at me with. Stuff I got to deal with, guys. Stuff I got to deal with. It's not even fair. Yeah, we're using a street, man. 
I can't believe how far the Creed shot. So, it's a hot one today, boy. Get some water. It's hot as hell out here. Okay, I guess Mike's ready to start shooting at me again with the second gun. I believe this is going to be a flat line. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get pegged too bad this time. Okay, Mike! Gonna go ahead and probably chrono in the gun right now. So, this is just proof that Mike is doing everything that he says in the videos without any magic. Yeah, looks like he's about ready to start shooting at me. Oh, he's still chrono in the gun. It's hot today, guys. It's probably easy 95, 100 degrees. Okay, chrono portion of this test is completed. Now becomes the using Willie as a rangefinder and hitting him. Guess we're gonna have to move up for this guy. Coming in the market. Okay. Let's mark the cone. Should be seeing the ball bouncing left and right of it. So, I think I got it. Yes, sir. Huh? What's that, Apex? Little closer. He's hitting right on that cone, man. I guess I got it. So 
so I, they're still right at about the cone. You can see them landing over there. So hopefully you guys can witness them bouncing right at about where I set the cones. So you can see I'm not fabricating these results. You know, you can see them all popping in. Whoa! Couple, you get a couple of them that, that have popped past me, but that's on the bounce, so we can't count those. We're counting on the fly. As you can see, there goes the first one. Yes, sir! Well short! I guess I gotta move it back. Mike just wanted to make get me hit. Dude. Alright. Fire some more! I wanna see if you can hit the cone now that I'm not standing there. I think those are heat seeking willy missiles. I didn't ask you. I love you, Willie. I love you too. Okay, as you can see, he's firing in. You're seeing they're hitting right around where I marked my cone. Kill it! I got you now. Okay, that is the second gun. I don't know what it was. I'm tired of taking guesses. So, let's go ahead and get our next cone for our next one. So far this ain't been too bad. Only took one, one or two directly to the top of the head. But, this is the price, price I gotta pay. You know, for, for testing results, accuracy. You know, cause you guys think everything we do is, is a mystery and a myth. So, I'm grabbing water, it's, it's hot as hell. Now I'll pick up my third cone and uh, should be should be one of these coming up. Should be reaching a little further. So we'll see. So what I'll do is I'll stand a good distance back again from the initial cones from the first two. And uh, we'll see how this result comes up. I know for the first strike rounds, man, it's going to make it rain on me. I'm going to have to move back really far compared to these other guns. So. But yeah, this is, this is what I got to do sometimes. This is my weekend. I'd rather be shooting people. Instead of getting shot at with no gun. As you can see, I got nothing in my hands. I got a camera. That's it. Camera don't shoot back. So. Oh, I think now's the fly line. I think that last gun was actually the Apex. We'll have to see. Looks like they're setting up the chrono. Let's go ahead and watch them chrono. I'll go ahead. You can see the the mark standing markers. You can see them way, way down there, so. Let's just zoom back out. And I think I need to move up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move up. I'll use the initial cones. So. Right there goes, I'm going to 
assuming the SP1 is right there. And then that's the Creed. Right now, they're down there doing the chronoing portion of this. Because as we say, we like to verify everything and everything so that you guys have no questions on whether we're rigging this. Because I know we've been called sellouts before, so. Looks like we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Hey, what we got going on? Waste of good evil paint, man. Should be able to see it all in the road. Bunch of little, little orange spots. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that difficulty that we're having, but uh, we're gonna be switching some tanks in order to do this test. I guess they're having a little difficulties down there with the uh, with the A5 getting it chronoed. So they're going to use a different tank and see. I think the HPA, um, he doesn't have the right configuration possibly to, to get it to 300. So we switched over to the unconventional CO2. But for this test, I guess it works. All we needed to do the gun to do was chrono to 300. We can run this test. Probably see the sweat just beating off of my face, man. It's hot, boy. It is hot. All right, enough of me. Let's go ahead and look at these guys. See what they're doing. It's got a whole technical team down there, and of course, people watching, seeing, trying to figure out why we waste paint like this. I try to figure out why we waste paint like this. But inquiring minds like to know. I'm standing out in the middle of the road. It's always fun. Leads into a paintball field. Thankfully, it's not too busy today. Okay, that was the first gun. No, thank you. Mike is having a good enough job hitting me with orange paint up to this point. <laughs> yeah, I may, but but then I would have to be a union person. That would mean I'd make money. <sighs> the time it takes, the time it takes to get these tests done. I'm sure Mike's probably stopping and starting his tape down there. Well, I'm just keeping mine going straight through. To just try to be the verifier 
of all. Whoa. You've got to see this spider. Whoa, that thing is huge, dude. That is one big spider. Okay, we've got a gun shooting. I'm seeing the bounce is starting to be just in front of the, f the first gun. So. Alright, I'm going to need to move back just a bit. Okay, I think I'm seeing my mark zone. So I'm going to go ahead and I think right here is where I want to set my first mark for this gun. Which always gets proven wrong afterwards. Okay, here he comes. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see the balls are roughly bouncing right initially, right at the cone. You're getting a couple that bounce a little bit further, but uh, pretty much right at that cone. Yep. So I think I've got that. So, let's see. So right now the order of the cones just for testing purposes to quantify. We're looking at in this order. Three will be the first one you'd see. One is the second one. And two is the last cone in the line. So let me go ahead and show you that's that's the third gun. That's the first gun. And I gotta move it back a little bit further. And this is the actual second gun. So as you guys can see, we've got the three different markers marked with their zones. So last marker, marker number three is the first cone you'll see. Marker number one is the second cone. And marker number two is the third cone in this line. All right, I'm actually out of cone, so I'm gonna need one more. So I'm gonna probably need somebody. Yeah, I guess we'll use my water bottle. Well, I was going to get somebody to come out here and give me a cone. But instead, they feel like they want to use my water instead. So, I guess I'm going to come back here. Get my last chugs of some water. Because it is hot, man. This is one key to playing paintball. You normally want to hydrate the day before. Which is critical. Um, in order to keeping it staying hydrated on a on a hot day playing a long day of paintball and today I'm not even playing and uh, you know as you guys can see roughly knocked out already a half gallon and I haven't even played today it's just as hot as it is so I guess now we're gonna start using my water jug for the third for the Tiberius rounds I think I'm gonna stay whereabouts that I'm at. And I'll show you in relation. Um, you remember when I initially was talking about the 450 foot mark. All right, there's the last pole right behind me. You should be able to see it. That pole right there is exactly 400 feet from, well, approximately 400 feet from where they're shooting. It all depends on how far back they're set from the uh, very first pole in the long line. Said. And right there is the, that is exactly 400 feet from the very first pole with netting all the way down there. And you can see that they're actually pretty close set up to that first pole. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this out a little bit. And 
that's the 400 foot pole mark as you can see in the road once again just to remind and for testing purposes the the closest cone to us is the second marker that was shot the middle cone is the first marker and the farthest cone is the third marker and i believe right now we're going to be doing some first strike rounds so this is going to be interesting if i'm not mistaken um the marker and orders was creed sp1 with apex and then a titman with a flat line so those are the three markers that we've used up to this point. Now we're going to be using the T9 Tiberius Arms T9 with the first strike Tiberius rounds. Nasty combination, let me tell you. I love that thing. So it looks like he's about ready to start chronoing it up. Or is he just getting his vest on? Because we're going to remote line test this one. The um, reason we're using a remote line instead of the CO2 is because we're going to prefer to use it with a remote line compared to CO2 cartridges. Uh, so, it doesn't shoot any better or any worse as far as I know. Uh, the main reason we do it is cost effectiveness, number one. Number two is also the, the cleanliness to the environment. CO2 cartridges getting tossed around, just get left can become projectiles when the lawnmower or weed eater comes through. Uh-oh. He's going to start firing on me. Whoa. Alright. I was initially at 450 feet. And they were bouncing over my head. So I've moved back another 20. Starting to see it right at about that 450 mark. Man, you can actually hear the first strike rounds whizzing in. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I've went ahead and marked, marked it with my water jug for now. But I'm going to be quiet and see if you guys can actually hear them whizzing in. They make almost like a humming. Like, and then they just come in. It's like you can hear the dive bomb coming in. First time I've been this far away from a first strike round. Last time I didn't even have a chance to hear it before I felt it. And they do not hurt at all. As you all remember from the first time that I, I took it for the Tiberius first strike round test. And didn't even scab anything. Alright, I'm gonna have to move this back. Because I've already been hit with two. There's the water jug. So hopefully we can show some straight first strike rounds coming in on it. Actually, I'm going to have to move back because he was just firing them all over my head. Um, and there's also a car coming. So I'm going to move back to the zone that I was seeing for the first strike rounds. Okay, you guys can see right there. You can see that's an initial contact from a first strike round. So you can see I'm not fabricating that this shot 
is because you can see the shell right there. Hopefully. Okay. So. So. Let's see. I'll try to stay behind it. Because Mike's trying to use me as a target to try and hit me. As you can see, I'm going to have to move it back again. As you can see, right now the first strike rounds are all around over here. You can see that they're basically flying and dying out to this point. So right there is where I'm using as a marker. There goes a the strike round, there goes a the strike round. And you'll actually see some in the grass around here where they've broken. So. Should be able to see that they're landing right at this mark. Ooh, that one landed right next to them. So, as you can see, I've actually had a few that actually went over me, but this is about the average that I'm seeing. And the first strike rounds aren't like the regular paintballs where they basically hit and keep bouncing and rolling. As you can see, that's that one that I said that hit right next to the bottle. Right there's the bottle. See if I can zoom this out and show you for just testing purposes. You can see right there's the strike round and the grass with the paint in it. Okay, and as you can see from that point right there, as I said. You can see when I initially start setting this up. These were out here. Here goes another round. And as I said, these aren't bouncing. So, these aren't bouncing. So even though that uh, some are over me, some are short, we're going with the overall average. And right now I think I've marked pretty much the average of the flight um, consistently. Because you can see there's a majority of uh, the first strike rounds right in that exact zone. I don't know if he's going to be firing any more at me. Hopefully not. So let's see. Let me turn this around again and see if he's firing anymore. Oh, here he comes doing the measuring part now. He's going to go ahead. He's got a little roller um, feet measure. And he's going to go ahead and conduct the test. So... I'll stay here at the farthest mark just to prove, you know, just so that you guys see a uh, water bottle. And I'm standing right here from the water bottle, just beyond the water bottle. So right now they're walking, uh, measuring up the distance. First strike, I'm, I'm going to estimate right at about 500. That's my rough estimate right now, you know. Because like I said, I don't remember their exact starting point, And I see how far I am away from that pole. Remember what I said was the 400 foot mark? Let me see if I can get you a shot with everything. Okay, there goes the water bottle. And there goes the 400 foot pole. The 400 foot marker. So, this is going to be coming up on some test results soon enough. So I'll go ahead and keep the water bottle in screen view so that you can see I'm not moving it back or anything from there.
First cone is A5. That was the third gun, right? Okay. Next one's the first gun. Is that the Creed? That was the first gun. Okay. As you guys can see. I'm going to actually try to get out of the way and keep the camera going for testing purposes. See so. That cone's the third, the second gun. Okay. So here they come. They just finished up. As you can see, the cluster between the other three markers is pretty relatively close. I'm saying maybe about a 20 foot difference between the first three markers. And, and then you can see the range distance for the uh, Tiberius is ridiculous. Oh, wow. So I guess they were shooting closer than the first pole. Oh, maybe I am right about 500. Dude, look where, where I marked that. And you can see where there's some stragglers in there. But consistently, you can see I got a cluster of four that I set... Yeah, you'll see, but look at this cluster right where I marked. Look in the grass more, you'll see it. Look, but you'll see, look right there, right where my bottle is, and you'll see. No, but look right here. Just for, look, boom, boom. Look, there's one here, there's one. You And if you look in the grass, you can see where uh, I actually got hit, and there's paint splattered by it. And I actually, and I actually um, marked it right on top of a spot, a uh, first strike, I think. Yep. So there's one right there. There goes another one. See, that that was the consistency. Then there's a few more over here. 517 feet exactly. Is that from where the... Wow. Let me go and get a, oh, get a shot. Oh, and back. as you can see... Hey, look, there's more down here. Okay. Look, because that, that what Mike, is the midpoint of the strike rounds. Because, wow. look, there was some that reached out to here. Yep. And because, look, look where they're coming. Actually, you know what? We can reuse this one. Yeah, they didn't break. Right here that yeah, a lot of those. But, look, this one broke. And it was oh, yeah, all the way out the here. Road. And the thing is, is with the first strike rounds, is um, what was different and what I noticed is, is where they hit, they didn't bounce. Right. They, they, they hit and, and stayed. Um, there's probably ones over it, literally. You could hear them whizzing. And that's why I went with the midway point between, yeah. between all the shots. Right there, isn't it? Right there in that white patch of the road? No. no that's a rock. Yeah, it's just a rock. Wow. So we got 531 Yeah, so 531 feet. Yeah, no, but there's some. I bet you they're still probably right in this range. But yeah, I mean, because I used the center of where the first strikes were landing initially right. and the furthest, and I went in the middle. And you can Here's see they were clustered. Here's something to keep into consideration. It's 531 feet. It's almost a football field and a half. And we're still landing them 
generally in this spot. I mean, this is this is a this is a halo here, probably maybe ten feet. Yeah. You know, from easy. Five hundred and you know, five hundred feet away, over five hundred feet away. Yeah, oh, I'm telling oh, you, dude. There's, there? Yeah, dude. There's a bunch in there, man. I'm telling you, they're oh, all yeah. in this area. Dude, I picked the perfect spot, dude. You can see I got hit in the shoulder. Yeah, you got hit. He did get hit. Look, yeah. you hit me in the shoulder. Because you were only shooting orange evil. Yeah, and that, that hit was actually when I had it first marked where those first clusters were. Right. Oh, yeah, there's another one right there. There's a bunch, man. I'm telling you. They, they, I marked the perfect spot, dude. Dude, I know what I'm doing. And I've still got my camera running for my integrity. Good stuff. Good stuff, dude. Dude, you're going to find them all through there. Yeah. But look how close they are to that bottle that I marked. Yeah. They're right in the mid-range of that bottle is between the closest shot and the furthest shot. Dead yeah. center almost. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good spot. Yeah, it's the average. Wow. The law of averages. That is unbelievable. People thought we were nuts. I was telling them a football field. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Dude, the, 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 uh, the Creed almost hit a football field. Yeah. The Creed hit a football field, didn't it? Yeah, ooh, I just stepped on two of them. Shit. Yeah, dude. These are like a dollar each. Oh, there's one we can, we can use that. This oh. one's intact, but they got... You gotta, ah, you gotta check I found another one. I found another one we can reuse. Here we go. I just stepped on one. Oh, yeah. there's a piece. Dude, they're they're all around here. Did here you check that? Here we go, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's a busted one if you want to get it on. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Yep. Dude, I'm telling you, yeah, because you can see the paint. Look. Look, the paint here and there from where it had hit. Wow. You can see? I, I took a video of it when I set the bottle. Yeah. Hey, when, when I set the bottle, I showed that one as, as the marker. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Get you cattle prod it. Because look, because you see one right there? That one's clean. Yeah. But I ain't going in there. Do it, Willie. No way, dude. <laughs> do it, Willie. All right, here, hold this. No, here, hold it. I'll go over. I got it. I go over. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It looks a little shaky. Yeah. It's a little shaky. You know what? I'll go over here in the corner. Is this, still, is this one still going? Yeah, you just, just leave it right running. All right. Every one of those we recover goes back into your Christmas bonus. <laughs> You get four dollars, yeah. Oh, yeah, if you recover like twenty of them, you get it. No. You get it. Getting the hits up that high. Oh, I got another one broken on the ground. I just didn't want to jump in the cabinet. I don't believe it. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Found one. Oh shit, I just dropped one. It's oh, that 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 That's okay, keep it running. I'll just video tape you walking around out there. That's like a whole magazine. Here goes one. And okay. that's with my one eye. Nice. Here goes another one. Dude, look how close they are to the bottle, dude. I'm oh. telling you, I gauged it perfectly, man. Yep. I, dude, I can't believe you hit me in the head with the orange with the cream. Dude. Really? Such a jerk, dude. Like that means you didn't set it properly. No, it was that you were using me as a range finder, and every time I moved back, you kept aiming for me. That was aiming higher. Well, what I was doing was I was waiting until you put the spot, and then I would turn the velocity up. That makes sense. I believe it. <laughs> okay, I'm already up to five bucks for my bonus. Word? Where? Oh, cool. Big third party out of state checks, right? Nope. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to pay them, so. <laughs> I think that's about it, man. I got seven here. That's seven sweet. That's twelve. Oh, that's, yes. You can keep those. Those are for sweet. helping out. Twelve bucks. Just don't lose them. Loser. Why don't you give them a, a tube for it? Well, I'm going to give them the ones that are used. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'll give you a tube. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but give them a, a used, an empty tube. 
to, to fill them back up. So I have a way to get them back. You know what oh, I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, he's see, you're thinking. Uh, that's why I'm in. I'm gonna do it though, this, right? I think. I'm the guy that does all the work around here. I'm telling you, he, he's just the face in the name of Tech <laughs> Willie does everything. It's pretty. Stick, stick him in there. We'll just put him in the mask. Do is make videos. There we go. You got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll grab the. Uh, thing I don't do stick, is make walker. video. And I don't edit. Videos. Shall I leave your water back here? Yeah, yeah. Bring that, please. You got it. I'm really surprised on how well they break. Yeah. Here's another one. Perfect. One? Yep. Oh shit. Got that in there. Let me turn this one off. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. I just didn't want to ruin my new pants. Hell no. You ruined my pants. I key. I key. I key. Yeah, I don't know where your record button's at. It's a button that looks like a camera. Oh, is that what you want? Yeah.